Hello everybody, welcome back to the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel, joined today by the beautiful Bella Dog, and uh, I'm going to do an unboxing video and show you what I got, but there's a story, and that's why I'm going to do it today, even though I can live stream on YouTube again from tomorrow, I, I couldn't wait to get my frustration out tomorrow, so you're going to get it today, but I've been uh, shopping to a uh, shopping centre in Perth, Australia, called Westfield Carousel, and hopefully, during the course of the filming of this, uh, they might even call me because uh, I went there to buy uh, a tablet that I'm going to be using for the YouTube, especially when I go away. And I have my backpack on my back with the very expensive tablet in it, and somebody grabbed my bag. And I thought that it was somebody I knew the way they grabbed it and pull off, pulled on it. So I turned around, and as I turned around, they managed to get it off my back completely. But luckily, I got it back, but th this is a bit that really annoys me. They had apparently been grabbing other people's bags at the shop because they had other people's bags with them. And uh, the security guards were doing nothing about it. Uh, after they grabbed my bag and I managed to get it back off them, um, I thought, well, I'll follow them to make sure that this guy doesn't do it to anybody else and you know, just keep an eye on him and where he's going. And then I realized like a few minutes later that the security guards were walking behind me. And I said to them, well, are you going to do something about it? And they said, well, no, what do you expect us to do? And it's like, well, something, your security guards. So I left the uh, shopping center and I rang up the central manager uh, straight away at the shopping center. And I said to them, look, my bag is just being grabbed in, in carousel in your shopping center. Um, can you do something about it? Because the security guards weren't. And they said to me, there's nothing we can do about it. We outsource our security to this security company and you're going to have to speak to them. And they're over east, the, the other side of Australia. And I said, well, surely I can speak to your centre manager or something because if the security guards aren't doing their job, obviously your centre manager can then say to the security company, we've had a customer complained and this is happening and we are paying you as a security company, do something about it. At which point I was told, no, it doesn't work like that. They outsource the security. Then she said, the security have no authority or any powers to do anything anyway. And I said to her, well, what's the point in having the security then? Oh, it's a visual presence. They, they might as well go deliver Uber Eats. But this is, and this, I mean, it's the middle of the day now. The shopping center was absolutely packed. It didn't happen just to me. It happened to other people as well. But this is what I keep saying about Perth. Nobody takes responsibility or gets hard on crime here. The crime is just rampant here and people get away with it. So when I keep talking about going to Japan and everything, unless you've been there, you don't understand that you don't do that in Japan because if you do, you will get in trouble. There are consequences and because there are consequences, people don't break the law. This is what happens. But here, you can get away with anything. Anyway, time for a coffee. The security guards did tell me, though, oh, we think he's high on drugs. Yeah, that's great. I don't need to know that. What I do need, though, is to be able to walk through a shopping centre with something very expensive I bought and not have it grabbed off my back. So, Carousel Shopping Centre, Albany Highway, Perth, Western Australia. Avoid it like the plague. Anyway, I bought two things, getting back to the whole purpose of this video, uh, but I did have to tell you the story. And let's hope the security called me because she said to me, I'll pass on your details to the security company over east and get them to call you. So let's see if they do. I bought two things. One isn't exciting, but practical. And the other thing is exciting. And you would have seen a million unboxing videos, so there's nothing new I can show you uh, to do with it. But the first thing I bought was um, when you go overseas, in case you don't know this already, a, uh, a lot of people just take a, a billion and one plugs and converters and you know, for international plugs, but you don't do that. You take a power board with you. That way you only need one converter plug. You see, you see? But they had this at Audi, and I thought this is even better than what I usually take, because I usually take a, a power board with the adapter for whatever country I'm going into, and then on the power board I have several different plugs in there that you can plug the USBs into. You know what I mean when I show you this. Anyway, this is a power board with the USB plugs in there already, plus the normal power. So this will be going overseas with me. It's made by Bourne. And uh, there's nothing much to tell you, really, apart from it's a four-way surge-protected power board. Um, 
uh, 15 watt USB-C charging port, uh, surge and overload protection, four USB charging ports, that's them, uh, 1.1 meter cord length, which is good for a hotel, uh, ideal for home and office, one year warranty. So, take it out of the box. There is an instruction manual in there, but who reads instruction manuals? And as I say, I like it because it, it's got the normal plug on there, so I can still plug in my, you know, the, the, the phone plug chargers, but it's also got four USBs on the top and a USB-C. So already I can charge five things without having to plug in the, you know what I mean? You know, the little plug adapters. I'll show you one in the tablet, you'll see what I mean. Uh, and then you've got four power plugs. It's nice and compact. There's something loose in there, which is very good. And, uh, and that's gonna go overseas with me. Anyway, that's item number one. I sound flustered, don't I? I'm, I'm really flustered after having my bag snatched. It's not the first time it's happened to me in Perth. And if you're walking with a bag like normally, I understand how people could snatch it. I don't think they should, but I understand it. Um, but when you're wearing a backpack... Second thing I bought, which I never told you, I keep people keep saying to me, Mark, why do you keep changing your mobile phone number every single month? And that's because I'm a cheapskate and I like saving money. If you went on a, a phone plan in Australia, it would cost you maybe $35, $40 a month, every month. Um, and people do that. Or people buy the, 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 the recharge sim and they buy it and then they just keep recharging it. I don't do that. What I do is every, every single month for like forever this has happened, ever since mobile phones started, every month they have a sale on these sim cards every month and this is a 45 gigabyte $40 sim card and I got it for $10 and it'll last me a month and this is it's like the same every month every month they're $10 so that's why I keep changing my phone number because for $10 a month I'm getting a month's worth of internet a month's worth of telephone calls you see what I'm doing there as well I'm, I'm telling you all the great tips today ah, back to the coffee And the final thing I bought, I wasn't going to buy this. I really wasn't going to buy it, and I, I'm really bad at wasting my money and spending my money. But um, I knew I needed a tablet so that when I do start live streaming again, I'm not squinting at the telephone because I realised when I did used to live stream before, when you talked to me, I was sort of like... Mm. So I did some experiments the other week with using a tablet to make the, the text bigger, and that works great. Um, but there's a, a kind of tablet that I always liked, and you'll see why in a minute, but it's like really expensive, and I wasn't sure whether I'd get it or not. Anyway, uh, Black Friday sales today, is, it, is, is that what they are? Black Friday, I don't know, some American thing that started here, Black Friday sales, and this, it's not even Friday. I just thought about that. I got this on Black Friday sales and it's not Friday. Anyway, get back to topic. Um, I got this on the Black Friday sale because it was $100 off and I still was thinking, should I get it, should I not? And in the back of my brain, it's going, it's $100 off, Mark. If you don't get it today, it's going to be $100 more after this week, at which point you're going to end up buying it anyway before you go away. And it is the uh, Yoga, Lenovo Tablet Yoga Smart Tab. Uh, it's got, well, it's got things on here that I don't need and it, there's only one thing on here I really do need that I like, and I'll show you that in a minute, but um, it's got Dolby Atmos for the sound because this has really good speakers in it, unlike a normal tablet. Um, there's nothing much really to tell you. It's, it's, it's got Google Assistant on it, which I will never use most probably. Uh, that's where you say, hey, Google or whatever, and it tells you useless stuff. But anyway, there is a reason why I bought this tablet. Let's open it and I will show you why. I think this is the best designed tablet on the planet. But I have been known to be wrong about many, many things. A nice box. I always wonder why they do nice boxes, because it would cost them a fortune to do these nice textured boxes just to be thrown away. Into the safety tabs. So when I live stream again, 
I want it the tablet so that I can use the camera that I'm using now to live stream and I can like hold it out or put it on a table, but then I can have a tablet close to me where the conversation's nice and big and I don't sort of squint. But I also like having tablets on planes because when you're trying to watch movies and everything, it's just logical rather than a laptop. My last tablet I stood on broke the screen. Anyway, dun 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 dun. There it is. Woo! -hoo! Impressive, isn't it? You're going, no, Mark, it's not. Okay, let's look at the non-fun non stuff at the moment. In here, quickest unboxing video, you get a piece of paper that tells you all the useless stuff that nobody reads. In here, you have a USB-C cable, which is fantastic. I can't tell you I've bought so much new tech lately and it's still got micro USB and it's like annoying. Uh, and then you have the power brick. And this is the thing that I meant. Like normally I take a, a power board away and I have like a million of these things. Do, 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 and then wires hanging from them. Whereas now I can just plug the USB plug in there. <laughs> Nearly lost ya. Nearly lost ya. Might have had to buy a new camera. Anyway, good. Nothing else in the box. That's what I mean, like such a big box and there's nothing in there. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the tablet. It's a 10 inch tablet, so a nice big screen for a blind man like me. Lovely. But can you see the shape of it? Now normally a, a tablet is very uncomfortable to hold because it, it's flat and it, it's, it's very horrible and it's slippery and everything. This, because of the, the shape of it, you get to hold it quite nicely. And, and it feels really, really comfortable. It, you, your hand wouldn't get sore holding this for a long period of time. So the idea is because of this unique handle, I'll be able to hold it and live stream at the same time. But there's more to it. Because it's got this big bulky thing, it has a more powerful battery, so the battery lasts longer. They say it lasts 10 hours of constant non-stop use on full brightness before it needs a charge. Thank you very much. It's got speakers in the end of it. Big speakers. And that's with the uh, Dolby Atmos. So you get the, the best wonderful sound, he says, turning the camera just a little bit. But here is the best bit about this tablet. I don't like tablet cases, you know, they're flimsy and everything. This, you press this button, it's got a stand on it. Woohoo! So a built-in stand, which is very, very good. And you can have it in like all different configurations. You can even hang the tab. One of their advertising points about this tablet is, well, you can hang it. Why you would hang it, I'm not exactly sure why. Unless I hang it off the camera. Mm. Anyway, but it's got that kickstand in it, which I think is really, really good. So if I'm at a cafe or something doing a live stream, it'll sit nicely, sturdy, whereas those tablet cases are not really sturdy. It's holding it at a, ni a nice angle for me, where, again, those cloth cases you piss fart around with. Um, and, yeah, I find it quite nice. And then it just, of course, clicks in. What else can I tell you? It's got a camera on the front in a, a really silly place. Why it's up here, I don't, why it's there, I don't know it should be up here. It's got a camera on the back, uh, which I won't use. I'm literally using this just for live streaming, just for the chats. As I say, I've had one of these tablets before. This is a later model. I had the earlier, well, the first edition of these, which was the, the eight inch one, and I really liked it. I really, really did. Um, but this apparently is gonna be better. And it's got Google Assist, which, I don't know what Google Assist is going to do to assist me. If you use Google Assist, do, do tell me what, like, I know it says if you buy all the different plugs and that you can go, hey, Google, turn on the lights. But I find that like a really pointless exercise to pay $40 for a plug uh, and then piss fart around trying to find your tablet to turn your tablet on to go, hey, Google, turn on the lights, when I can just simply go, <laughs> you, you see what I mean? Um, or, hey, Google, play me some music where I can just pick up this thing called a remote control and go, music. So I'm not quite sure about the Google Assist. If you do use it, let me know what you actually use it for that would benefit me. I do know by using Google Assist though, you know how everyone, everyone's always worried about 
uh, oh, you know, the internet's spying on me in the whole works. Well, if you use Google Assist, it is actually spying on you. The terms and conditions say everything you say we record and then we sell on to third, third parties and everything. So don't use Google Assist. But if you do use it, do let me know. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to turn on the tablet now and, and set it all up and that will not interest you whatsoever. Another thing, though, I will say before I go, tablets in Australia, I don't know if it's the same uh, in your part of the world, but tablets in Australia, you can't put a SIM card in them at all. Whereas in Malaysia, every tablet you buy from the cheapest, you know, $40 tablet right up to thousands of dollars tablet, every single tablet they sell in Malaysia, you can put a SIM card in. But in Australia, uh, there's only one tablet I think you can buy that you can put a SIM card in and it's like well over $1,000. Is that the same in your country? It seems silly to me that a tablet, a portable device you can't put a sim card in is that just me like thinking really weird or, or do you agree with me there that that it makes no sense anyway so you can't put a sim card in this however i am using it overseas and i'm going to be using the glow call me that thing you saw the other day for the internet so uh so that'll be okay it looks really nice it feels very nice it feels quality as well this is this is metal Thank you very much. Um, e even the grills around the speaker and that is all metal. It, it, it feels, it feels really nice. It feels really, really good quality. Uh, the Lenovo Yoga 10-inch Smart Tab. Interesting. Anyway, that's it from me, and that's enough from Bella. Is that is that right, Bella? Do you want to say anything to the camera? I love you too. She's my girl. And that's it. We can see the security were obviously very interested because they never called me back. I was hoping they would have called me back while I was on um, the internet to you folks. But this is Perth. They won't call me back. Or if they do, they're going to bluff me off. Thank you. We'll look into it. But we can't get back to you. We can't tell you what happened for privacy reasons. Anyway, not long now. Bring on 2021 and we will be able to go overseas again to a safe place. Uh, and that's another thing as well. That's why I don't, I haven't done many live streams and that here as well. I don't feel safe going out in Perth with all of this very expensive technology. It's not safe or wise to do it. But I will be doing it a couple of times before the end of the year. So keep an eye on the channel. I can tell you that um, I'm going to be filming the Christmas lights in Perth in 360 degree video. So if you don't like 360 degree video, Sorry, I might do a standard one as well. I don't know, I'll decide. Uh, I'm going to the Christmas pageant that is happening this year. Because um, we're COVID free, the Christmas pageant can go ahead, though it's going to be slightly different. You had to buy, you had to get tickets this year. They were free, but you had to get tickets. Normally you would just go and line up on the streets. Uh, so I'm going there. I might, might, might do a live stream from the Christmas pageant. I'm not sure. If I don't do a live stream from the Christmas pageant, I certainly will be recording and the camera just automatically switched off. So yeah, I'll, I'll be recording them anyway. Um, and then New Year's, nothing happens in Perth on New Year's. There's normally no fireworks or anything on New Year's in Perth. Generally speaking, nothing happens on New Year's, so there won't be anything happening there. And then we will be in 2021, yay! And we'll be getting ready to go back to Japan. I've already spoke to your Nana and said, Nana, can you look after Bella when I go to Japan? She said, ah. I said, you either look after Bella or Bella's got to look after herself. Ah, I'll look after her. So Bella will be going to Nana's. We've got spending money for Japan already. I've got my plane ticket for Japan already. I now have all this new tech to take to Japan so I can live stream in Japan, take 360 degree videos in Japan. Uh, take normal videos in Japan, going to film lots in Japan, and we're going to do the complete country. You know all these YouTubers that live over there that keep showing you the same thing? I'm going to take you places they don't go. We are going to do a live stream from Rabbit Island. I will assure you of that. We are going to do a live stream of uh, inside a traditional Japanese accommodation where you sleep on the tatami mats and all that. Uh, we are going to be doing a live stream from an active volcano that is erupting. We're going to be doing this. We're going to be going 
to uh, Fukushima, the place of the big disaster. We're going to do this. The YouTubers you watch in Japan don't do this. I'm going to do this. So that's all coming up in 2021. And apart from that, that's enough of me talking. They still haven't called. Wherever you are in this big, wide, wonderful world of ours, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Thank you for joining us at the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. Please avoid Westfield Carousel Shopping Centre in Perth, or any Westfield Shopping Centre, in fact, because you're not safe. Bye.